back to Fallout 4. Now I know I've not been neglecting for quite a bit of while here. I'm near down lately. I'm, uh, and yeah. It's actually been a while. And I know I've neglected it for quite a bit of while, but. Option I'll paint the key to Earl Sterling's house. Alright. Earl Sterling. Alright, so doing a bit of a break in there. Eh? I forgot it was. I forgot it a little too. Hold on. Gotta really be sure which one I'm going to is the right one, you know? Here we go. Ah, perfect. Sorry, just a stack in my fucking ear that's driving me crazy. Yeah, no, in a moment. There we go. No, I'm still there. See, still there. Uh, it's a dog at in. Yeah. For fuck's sake. No, there's a exactly good reason why to spy some. There you go. Jim, I need to talk. Just a minute, dear Jim. I am in middle of story. I am in middle of story. Crossing ridge. Wearing nothing but a smile. When the out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a Meyerlerk! A Meyerlerk? Pussy! Come on! That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. A Meyerlerk, oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> I forgot you were there yet, Fiend. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? Hmm. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Earl Sterling. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> Terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. Hmm. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. Eh? Barter. Let's see what you got. Music to my ears. Because what the hell not? I got beer, blood by me. Eh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Uh, 308. Sure, why not? He's my new. As you know, to give this guy something new that I'm not really using it. The brother hurt you, the T60. Holy shit. Eh. Uh, I have some sugar bombs. Have some Brad Roach meat, cause why the hell not? Have some uh, like the uh, corn, I guess. Addict all. Eh, why not? There we go. Thank you for the drink, con. I mean, yeah, drink for my ammo, for my gun, but whatever, right? <laughs> All moldy meat. Yeah, Everything up in the stands? Let's just say they can Maybe afford a lot of clothes. Yeah, good to know. It might be better than going to sleep every night. I'm gonna be there. Afford a lot of clothes. Hmm. I can only wonder what that means. Security only screams at him for a. Help defend the slug. Oh, for fuck's sake. What a time for the time for the slug to be under attack, yeah? Alrighty. Oh, so guys, I got a bit of a question for you. I've been playing a lot of a lot of stalker recently. Do you think is that a good Nah. Now it's time for music. I knew it. I knew it. Carol. God fucking damn it. Oh, perfect. 
And how ironic too, isn't it? Smoking a fucking alcoholic too. Or so we think, yeah? I play. Sometimes these electronics are really good as well, too. It's been a Fort Elvia night. Sea Captain's hat. Woo! And sleep in his bed, yeah? But what am I looking for here? Hold on. Data for clues. Yeah, for clues. TV, cabinet, refrigerator. A bit of a vent. A pretty good house. I mean, he got a bit he got going on everything. Too bad you said it's like essentially borderline useless. Car, duffel bag, suitcase, bed, sleep, sleeping in another person's bed. Look for clues. <laughs> the curious is going to one is just, oh, what the hell is this? What the hell? What about? Yeah, I thought it could be like hidden under the desk wall too. It's been a while, you know, I'll admit that. Oh, wait. Ah! Boulder. Surgery. Re reconstruction. Procedure. Ah, interesting. In the mega surgery set and then everything here. Yes, I think I know what to say. Uh, probably not. I don't know. I'm tired. So what? No, I don't think so. Second. Something. Alright, I see. I see you, Hardy. I see you want live and everything else. Hello. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? <laughs> the recipe. Do you know anything about this receipt? A Let receipt. me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. Was? The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. No. I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Doc Crocker. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cell. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. All right. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Investigating a missing person. I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? <laughs> You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. <laughs> ah, that was pretty fun. Psycho jets? Why not? Yeah? Alright, what's got? Stim pack, perfect. Checkers, why not? Molotov cocktail, because why the hell not, yeah? Dangerous range. 
Ooh. You can always sell that one, you know, if I feel like it. Usually, I mean, there wouldn't be anyone, you know, willing, able to use that one besides players. Cell. I really need some ammo, you know, especially those four. I think there might be. Oh, Fucked. That thing is all too. Stupid mannequin. We wish we'd poke it around the inside, but looks like it can't. For whatever reason. Really seen much around here. Um, blood packs, cause why they'll not, yeah. Oh. So let's toss it back in, cause why the hell not, yeah. So. He said, Lord Jabus. Alright. There. It's in place. Organized. Yeah. It's like how it should be. Uh, some mad eggs, a lot of things, you know, that could use. It's empty, though. Alright, so what am I doing again? Investigate the, the, the surgery cellar. Which would be where I am. Hmm. Look at the kitten with the rocket. A little suspicious, don't you think? Sure, I could poke up over there and everything, but no. I think there might be something else to this place I'm not really seeing. I mean, look at look at that cat, you know. She looks uh. But there's something suspicious to it, I'd say. There. It's not supposed to be here, it's a blood pack. Ugh. Should be in the bin where it belongs. But I will see about it at some point. Stimpack. Cha! Cha! Stab myself with it. <laughs> but it would actually heal me, nonetheless. I don't know. Whiskey. Silver fork. Got some beer. Fusion cell. That's in the desk. Otters, impact, Maddox. See it over here with a lot of blood. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's not here. Maybe. Thinking. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Hmm. Yeah, you know, still worth it to oh, come and see a look at the other one, but you've you've really been a handful, you know. Really? But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not... Sarcastic? Yeah, you fixed things, all right. 
Fixed yourself some time in the Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. Mm-hmm. Ah, so you were performing surgery, and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating, so I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. The Institute? Why would people think the Institute took Earl Sterling? That's what they do. That's what they've always done. As long as there's no body, everyone just assumes. And that's why Earl's body needs to go away. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Seriously? You're going to let him live? No. No one can find out. No one can find out! Well, is that all you've got? Hmm. <laughs> Whatever you find, don't forget to share. Doctor Crocker. Mm hmm. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? And you're wired smoking indoors. Uh, see for yourself. Take a look around for yourself. You'll figure it out. That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. Indeed. Ah, uh, not your fault. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. That <laughs> moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Hell ye. Hell ye. <laughs> clean the place of biohazards. Good. Saved us from wasting our ammo. Mm, yeah. Theory, yes. Uh, not into it. Soon you know he's finished with the animation, you know, we might have well gotta move on. Roar. Heavy to carry, that's what I want to know. Hmm. Hell yeah. I was able to reach it on this thing, on the circle one. Anyway, this one actually, how good it will ever get. This one, mm. scrap this one. Deliver. Circuitry, aluminum, adhesive. But a scavenging can do still. Find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Uh, recap. Why was I looking for Earl Sterling again? 
Well, to help the folks down at the dugout end get some closure about their friend, for one. That, plus a pile of caps when it's all said and done. Crocker killed him. Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. I, uh... I put him... Well, put him it down. It was either him or me. I had to put him down. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout end know what happened. Mm -hmm. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Hmm? You know, if you're up for another case, Nick got a hollow tape from an old partner, claiming he'd uncovered a mystery he wanted Nick's help solving. The tape's in that folder over there. Maybe you can get to the bottom of it. Poor Earl. Wouldn't wish something like that on anyone. Hmm. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. This is on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Oh, I suppose so. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, for fuck's sake, give him one real quick, yeah. Uh. If you see him, tell Marty I say, Hey, where's my 20 caps, you old lech? Also, hi. Was actually a settlement that was under attack now, wouldn't it? Of course there was, of course there was. Why the hell wouldn't it be, right? I'm not gonna look at that one for now. prepared in cooking station and turned to food items that can heal radiation provide unique bonuses. Hmm. <sighs> Fallout 76. You know, I mean, now that you come to think about it, maybe you know some multiplayer games, you know, they can actually be quite helpful, you know, in order to how might I say, bring up some ideas for any, some more stories for single player games. Could be, you know, more than useful for that. But, you know, that's something which I would have done. Does anyone really doubt, you know, that the other game developers would even listen to that since they're all high and mighty on their horses to even think about that? I mean, thinking about it, that's something I would have done. Something I would have loved, you know? Not in the right now. Press there we go. Oh. Fuck am I even bothering with this for? Hmm? What the hell am I even bothering with this here? I got a Lewis Pure, is yes I do remember now. Actually got even better. Good lord. 
All right. Oh, you dumb motherfucker! No, it's not. It's not the. It's not, not the game actually. I'll tell you guys in a bit. Good lord! People don't take a, take a fucking chill pill here for a moment. Good fuck, good happen, Christ, I'd say. Stop. That's right, get shot. Oh, I know I'm carrying too much shit and I cannot run. So please just give me a fucking moment. Oh. Right. I'm gonna go with this one because why the hell not in for fuck's sake. I guess it pretty much counts as a moment I come moment of fresh air, huh? Alright. So basically as well too, I mean since I'm actually living in this house well too. Uh apparently I'm gonna have to move on to another house, you know. You know, because I'm doing college, you know, student life and all that fun stuff. Thing is, you know that when I was actually, you know, waiting to move out to the, the end of the house, there was this one old hag, you know, that uh, just because, oh, uh, I, I want to stay here for for uh, some more time. So yeah, you know, she got at least, you know, another week, you know, and then the, the arranged time, which, sure, I said I agreed to that as well, too. After all, as well, too, I mean, it's on her, it's on her tab, you know. So. Instead, it's all too. I mean, a week passes. I know. And ever since I, you know, spend the weekend with my family, it's been a lot of fun back there. Thing is, a bit of a hilt to that. Uh, how back am I? Remind stuff and we'll get stuff uh, and good stuff here. And also, quite a bit of a good thing as well too that they actually decide to actually make you know the doctor as a well some of the. Uh, there we go. Yeah, until it really lighten up the low. Uh, the. I haven't been. I have. I have, haven't been drinking. Can I swear? The crime is sure is a good gun. The only problem is how. Ah, fuck it. Why not? All right. Everything checks out well. Now to go, go, go for this log. Slug. But you know, as I was saying, well, too, this one hag, you know, she broke a few shit, you know, at the apartment, well, too. <sighs> and now, you know, there's gonna have to be some repairs and everything. Isn't that funny? Hmm? And again, isn't that fun? Oh, whatever. Some places, I mean, you just can't really tell, you know, when some, whatever, some people are just gonna spurg out without any warning or whatever. But screw it, right? And I swear to Christ as well, too. Then you put it a little higher up? Maybe without, without work? Yeah, I suppose it would. <clears throat> That's not a fun. Never mind. I can't see shit. Can I get him? No, we haven't. But he was already dead, anyways. That's uh. Thanks for the hit there on the wall. Out of a for a lot of You say pass. You say pass. Because, you know, 
because I was a little lazy on that as well too. And I forgot as well too, I mean how fun, you know, we well, best not to piss off the four, you know. Remember I remember last time what happened there. Excuse me. Thanks for your help, pal. Hmm. Glad to help. I was glad to help out. I can't argue with your timing. Who knows what would have happened to us if you hadn't been here. Anyway, we appreciate the help. Hmm. Anyways. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Alright, he's gonna get a combat rifle even too. Not bad. Use it 45. You gotta give me 45. You gotta give me this thing. For fuck's sake, even though I have to give up for my own ammo? He got into like a 45, didn't he? I get not too much of too, you know. There you go. Give him tank or what the hell not, right? And apparently, according to that, no, forget about the uh, the static thing gun. It's still here. I don't know. That peril. Clean room suit. Has a chest piece, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Left arm. Wait, what? Left leg? Oh. Right arm. Let's try the current the clean room suit. Never mind then. Sea captain's that. Hmm, why not? Oh, there we go. He's a big boy. Big pressure boy, I'd say. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Alrighty. We gotta get a 308 on my later pistol. Ah. I got a bit of an old thing. Much more armored. I mean, problems will tell me that to put it. But I mean, a few things will take to finish up, you know, like barricading this place up. Also, if I was able to hold two, I would actually edit a few things too. Under armor, they look a lot like gunners. That's a bit of a problem. Something hit here. Kaboom. You here? Hey. It's slow going, but it's going. Hmm. Where is it actually? I remember what it looks like, but I don't remember where it is. All I do remember is that I actually slapped out a few random things here. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Hold on. To drop what I don't need. Pipe pistol. 
You leveled up. I noticed. Right, Sorry from this from this top little two. Automatic. Hm. Just cause automatic doesn't really mean like it's gonna do a, a lot of thing. Well, you have the uh, apparel too, now. Do we even need uh, the full set of Brighthood of Steel? Suppose not, but yeah. There you go. Can't scrap this one, so I might as well just store it away. Huh. Interesting. A lot of steel, though. Spring, crew, and everything else. Tarberry. And a few bodies here, too. What the hell is this here? Wasting up a lot of re holding up a lot of resources could have been pretty darn useful too, huh? Alright, let's see. Wood, walls. I'm with the walls, you know. Uh, the four. Only one. Auto wall. Well, it is. At least, you know, to close up, you know, this place here. It ain't no Buckingham Palace, but hey. It'll be good. Because it'll be good. And what'll be good? Because I said it'll be good, goddammit. Now, this fun thing that I missed quite a lot, too. Now, of course, you might be thinking, well, too, about the junk fence and everything. Eh. Sure, I mean, they could be fairly used for little clothes, too. Or. I don't know. It's semi clothes here, though. Semi clothes. I need a lot of wood. That's what I need. Okay, you know, just get rid of all these wire fences and everything. And, uh, yeah. That's a bit above problem. These junk fences are absolute garbage. thing you know they're good for like the corners that's about it and of course in this case it's kind of a bit painful as well too because it undermines all the uh, all the hard work I put into some of the settlements oh dear me That'll look unique, that's for sure, but I don't know. Sure, I mean, as well, too. I mean, all the uh, oh lord, well, 
At least the metal walls will leave it there, at least. And I know what NPCs know, they usually act like this. Don't leave the corner one, at least. He knows I mean there's like a little rag stag nearby and he wanna make that little fucker pay. Why is he actually bothering with all with a, with a simple rag stag or something like that? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Why are you even asking me? I know I did. Yeah. And I believe it should be. Aha! Eh. Just for a little bit of extra decoration to it. Because why not, right? There we go. Not. Maybe, I don't know. At least you know the main goal, I mean, of this thing, that means just to give out the bad guys, and that's what it's, well, it's good at doing, I'd say. Well, so I mostly finish off enough from one point, but still have a lot of things to do. And just gotta put at least down about 25 pieces of the wall, cause why not? I thought at least I'm gonna be a wise idea to leave about the other. Well, to leave about the other. Terrible ideas of what it was. Offer oh, a little to no protection. Only gardening. Only gardening shit, you know, for protection. Look at a little motherfucker when I still think that way, huh? And sure, sure, I mean, when I actually get, you know, you know like a. Depending on the fortify this entire place here. I got a. I just see about you know what to do here. Sure, I mean the snack is gonna be pretty good too, but I don't really know for sure. I mean if it's if it's really covering down all the area, so there's that. Sure, I mean it's pretty pretty, pretty good able too. You see that quote unquote buried itself in the ground. To that. Come on, snap the motherfucker, would you? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This will be a little hard. But I'll get it done. There we go. There we go. From one side, and then the other side will too. I kind of feel like I should have started off when you decide, you know, given the, uh, hmm, what's the name again? Oh yeah, the Forged. The Forged themselves, alright. They, uh, are right about there in your sight, too. Easy name, you know. I ever thought it'd be a good idea for them. Ah, fuck's sake! Have 
to reel in and have peace after peace. Can't see the other side though. Wasteland, what the hell would you expect, huh? About here. Uh, at least. At least. Also, a bit of an interesting thing for me to do would just put the roof access to it. That'd be a good idea now, wouldn't it? Yeah, what? Well, Yes, it would be. <laughs> yep, the wind turbine kills. Why the hell not, right? <laughs> All right then. What else am I missing? Indeed was a good idea, wouldn't it? Go outside, collect resources and build. To what to what goal? I don't know. Completed, but hey, at least that reduces the likelihood of another of another attack now, doesn't it? But you know what? I feel like some of these turrets that will too could actually be replaced to some other places too. That will provide some more garden, don't you think? Well, I do think so, my my darn self. Sometimes, and the settlements all you need is some roof access to get the high ground. Literally, right? Oh. Not really much I can do right now. Got our flannel and jeans. Can we trade a few things? Of course. You know, this one actually has a lot of uh, apparel. This one here has, uh, yeah, the right arm. Apparel, because why not? Fitted visor. Yeah, the right arm has a right leg. Eh, and the harness, so why the hell not? Right leg. No chest piece. No chest piece. Are you kidding me? There's no chest piece here. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Was I able to you know, duplicate? No, like the. Uh, Dead. Let's uh let me get the body out of the water. At least you know like uh, you know the ghouls you know they drink you know from water. And now they wanna be drinking from coarse water now, wouldn't they? Oh 
Why is he now having fun with the ragdoll? So fucking, so much fun. I'm sure, I know ragdoll is a technical fern, but boom. There we go. Not the best way, but hey. Too bad, right? Too bad. I want to trade a few things. Okay. Let's see what's the guy for this dude. Alright, arm. Raider chest piece. Road leathers. Hmm. Alright, I mean, I, I admit it, it's just so much fun, you know, having fun with these, uh, with the characters. I need to assign someone to this. It seems to be growing well. Mm-hmm. Do his job with him, why not? Ah, he's an assigned. Assign him there. Sure as well, too, that their happiness level would indeed no fall down a bit. Why would it fall down a bit? I don't know. Most likely. Hold on. Just need some more adhesive and boom. That would be that, right? Ah, if only. Missing. But I'm pretty sure you know I, I keep remembering to myself that I'm forgetting something. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? What do you think? Most likely I am. Too. Some of them I really, really don't need as well too. Especially after ravaging the bodies of uh, the dead bodies of the invaders too, right? Oh. I need to rename that before I actually accident accidentally get rid of that. Let it go now. Oh, never mind then. It's there somewhere. The Brahmin feed through, right? Ah, don't worry. I, I got that fixed up. There. Yeah, at least now... <laughs> at least now the Brahmin are kept well fed. Actually, hold on a moment. It's not actually all the... How shall I say? You know, I'm gonna keep your Brahmin well fed. You gotta... Something fucked up with me, isn't it? There you go. Gotta break it up a bit and still small pieces, you know? There we go. 
make sure you know the blood's coming out of a few limbs, you know? Just be sure and it'll be... It'll be something good for your ramen to keep it well fed. I can think of like a, I got like a ripper or something. I don't know if I even had something. Got a pigman's poker. We got this here. There you go. There. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Lisa Brahmin will be happy. Chewing the meat of the bones and crunching the bones and everything else. Hmm, you know what? I believe it could drag it into body to it. You know, none of, none of that vegan bullshit. Real meat, you know? If, uh, of these Democrats, of these socialists want to break into your settlements and take everything for free, Nah, fam. They die here, and then their bodies become Brahmin food. What the hell? What? Oh. All right. Works even better than I expected it would. Gibbs in Fallout 3 and, well, especially the older engine of Fallout, they used to be so heavy. The old piece of meat just rolling. <laughs> there. Need more meat. I remember why, <laughs> how I enjoy Fallout so much now. I usually didn't know, like when I started out with Fallout 3. My niece have an Xbox. Oh, that's okay, but not the same as I used to have. Oh, I remember it all too quickly now. to the head just give a little bounce. There you go. So then the Brahmin can enjoy a nice chunky chunky stew. <laughs> well yeah. I don't think that Brahmin would indeed eat dark eat human flesh and whatnot, but yeah, no one knows a lot of people over here. They seem quite a, to be quite a, quite tense up. Oh, sure the cutie. Too bad she did. What the hell? Come. Oh. You find anything good on him? Quite a few things. Quite a few things. All right. Hold on a moment. Ah, would you look at that? Come, we must bring food to our pits. We must feed them real flesh, real, real flesh, and that vegan bullshit. You know, you yeah, know that vegan bullshit. That shit is so weak. You know, all that be all that vegetable shit, vegetable this, vegetable that. I'm a vegan. We must, you know, give actual meat to our pets. This might have, you know, less flesh to it, but still it's good. But still. <laughs> eh. Get 
just put on the light. It's getting pretty dark here. Yeah, would you? It's sliding out of her flesh, out of the flesh then. with me. Bit of a shame, you know, my walking speed kind of does, uh, what the, <laughs> I don't know if it, wait a moment. Ah, uh, I don't know if I should toss them or not, but I don't know. Just dragging this man's lifeless body to a bathtub used to feed the Brahmin. Well, Hey, I mean, you gotta keep your crops uh, up and going somehow, right? Do I scare him, huh? Of course I do. But what really mattered the most, I mean, after all, he's dead. <laughs> His head. <laughs> I can stop playing with the food. Private. Oh, Sergeant, actually. It even has a bit of a gravitational shit to it. Good. That makes everything a whole lot more nutritious for the Brahmin. Oh yes, it does, alright. Now to get some more wood. Wherever the hell am I gonna get some more wood, that is? I don't know. I mean... Be a way to get the wood, wouldn't it? You know what? Modders? I, I just gave an idea. Get to work. I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good idea, isn't it? Tech like this and then get wood pieces to finish up building everything. Ooh, what fun. You know what? I've been thinking. Might bring this bad boy inside, cause why not? Right. I also have been looking at, you know, like working at, at all these, uh... What's stealing? 
and everything. And boy, do I have to say how much fun it is. The only problem is, of course, you're getting two wits, which still gotta, you know, give money to those fucking liberals. Those liberals and the socialists and everything to get the plum and everything. But in the end, I mean, it would be all worth it. And it is the they don't screw me over. And they probably are pretty tiny to do to anyone. No matter what race, gender, or whatever it would be. Those liberals, socialists, and everything else. They always prey on everyone. Oh yes, they do, alright. Yes, they do. We grow the best tar berries in the commonwealth. Mm-hmm, they do. Indeed, they do. Now, where was I? There we go. Even though, I mean, I would consider, you know... the Fungi and Gul over here is an important character, but... Not the game for some reason. I don't know why. What a way to bury the dead. Chop it up, put in a Brahmin feeder, and feed the Brahmin. <laughs> By the way, if I recognize it properly correctly, then I believe some of these meat chunks and everything are from Fallout 3. Well, hey, I mean... Sure, whatever works best, right? Now, to, uh, to be honest, what's going to mean, like, all the new, and uh, this new, uh, well, new, in a way. Sure, it's beautiful and everything, but I don't think it was really all that necessary. I mean, the game engine that runs for all the new Vegas, let's say, is good enough as it is. Why even bother changing it? For a lot of reasons, I guess. For a lot of reasons, especially in corporate, you know, they're money hungry and tactics and whatnot. Hmm. Maybe so, maybe not. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll leave him out there. They're heavy carried so which means that they're uh, pretty potent in what they do. So what else was I missing? I'm pretty sure I know I'm missing out on something. Miscellaneous. Shit to Mount Mercy. Secure the DIA cache. Relay mass fusion. I suppose. Maybe we'll get in story mode at some point, because what the hell not? Relate a mass fusion. some stress, I really need to play some games. That's for sure. That's for sure, alright. Well, I don't know if it's supposed to go up or down, but whatever. But then again, no. Do you know 
I mean, who all, I mean, it's kind of vulnerable too. They say that the, uh, the Institute was to vanish out people and everything, right? But do you know who also is, who is known for vanishing people? Martians. Therefore, the Institute is composed out of alien technology, that's for sure. Well, stolen alien technology. Steel. Well, screw it. Why the hell not? Enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, what can I say? The National Domestic Servant Robot makes a handy equivalent in this terminal. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah, I really wanted to see the played one, but hey, okay, well, I'll never get get a chance this time, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Pit, isn't it? Oh my. Oh, finally. Hmm. It's weird a bit. Guess we'll have to go through them. Mm-hmm. Sure, I guess. Who's there? Over here! Over here! <laughs> Failed the quarter mastery, I know. But hey. At least by fighting off the Brotherhood of Steel, at least I'll be able to... How might I say? Get quite a lot of, uh... Your tech in my hands. <laughs> I just realized that as well too. Sure, the guy actually was like taking in quite a good cover, but I need that. You don't feel so good? I can see that alright. 
Alright, else I'm missing? Might as well just quick save here, because why not? Have to find the car. Can't get us anywhere. At least not without whatever card activates it. Hmm. Sure, I guess. Hmm. Because why not? How convenient. Hmm. the agitator. We'll have to search the rest of the building. No way I'm cracking this. Hold on. Ah, fuck it. Security's too tight. Yeah, 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 I know. Do I really have to go through this? Do I even have to go through all this? Allie. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. If I was a pre-war tech conglomerate, where would I keep all my mm -hmm. best toys? He's here. Says I. He's here. Now, now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> too little, too late. To the Fillmore. Yeah, fuck it. It's an ambush. If I find you, that's more like it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come on, you stupid bastards! Come on. 
find some spare ammo. Hmm. <sighs> I feel sleepy. I don't feel so good. So we got it here in the radio on the map here. See the reactor level. Alright. No way I could pick this. But I must give a move on. The fuck happened here? Nursery are very unhappy. Elevator ought to have power. Mm hmm Sure, sure. Going down. The shit keeps always falling, eh? I'm not touching anything. I don't even know what half this stuff does. Don't think I can pick this. something I don't know. heal myself here right now. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. 
Mm-hmm. Hey. Need something? Wake up the wake the fuck up just a wee bit. The fuck these people have enough for heal for healing. I guess I'm boned, aren't I? I guess I am boned. The rice scorpion. Hmm. But why are you telling me about it? Unless it means that I might just be. Oh, amazing. There might be one just waiting for me on the other side. How? Uh, how? I'm glad to hear that. All right. Available at any power station, they say. Oh dear. I think I'll sleep soon. Just keep up, you know, going all slow like this. By any chance, there are bed around here? Holy shit. You know I mean, the um, the uh, Brotherhood of Steel members is here in camp, so maybe be a bit of you beds around. Oh, most likely it is. Most likely. <laughs> How stupid can ones be? Then.
know what? Let's try this. That's a good thing, at least. Heal, 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 heal. You are too late. Oh. Pile of junk to me. Well, I mean, it's a pile of junk. I'm mean, we were sent here to retrieve, right? If it is, then leave that junk be. behind. You're just wasting space. so good at mitigating radiation back in those days. Levels are almost off the charts. I'll monitor things from here. Oh, thanks for that. That was really helpful. What a helpful scientist, isn't it? You go in. Well, I have the hazmat suit. I'll monitor things from here. Well, I have the hazmat suit. Dr. Fillmore. Looks pretty dangerous in there. You have any sort of radiation protection on you? Uh, no. Nope. You? Oh boy. You got a couple of doses of Radex, which you're welcome to, but they're not going to be enough. See? This is why I wore the suit. Look, they worked on the reactor here. They must have had some kind of protection. Poke around and I'm sure you'll find something. I should beat the shit out of you for being so goddamn helpful. Hmm. 
Guess they weren't so good at mitigating radiation back in those days. Levels are almost off the charts. I'll monitor things from here. Allie. Looks pretty dangerous in there. You have any sort of radiation protection on you? Sarcastic. Can I just close my eyes and run fast? Joking in the face of mortal danger, always a good sign. <laughs> here, I got a couple of doses of Radex, but I seriously doubt it'll do the job. See? This is why I wore the suit. Mm -hmm. Look, they worked on the reactor here. They must have had some kind of protection. Poke around and I'm sure you'll find something. Dr. Fillmore. Looks pretty dangerous in there. Do you have any sort of radiation protection on you? Hmm. Don't worry about me. I'm all set. Okay, good. See? This is why I wore the suit. Mm. Look, they worked on the reactor here. They must have had some kind of protection. Poke around and I'm sure you'll find something. Ungrateful prick. Hold on. Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Mm hmm Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Dinkier than I thought it would be. Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lockdown initiated. Back of my head, I mean, it was gonna be a sentry bot somewhere, but well then. Now cycling airlock, please wait. Mm hmm. Initiating decontamination sequence. This voice makes me want to sleep. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Good. Very good. Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lockdown. that water, whatever it is. Hold on. There we go. Oh, good news.
Oh well. Haven't I all saved already? Whatever. Now cycling airlock. Please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Examination complete. You may proceed. Swear to God. Uh, it's gonna have to work, right? It's gonna have to work. Decontamination complete. Dr. Fillmore. This wasn't really what I planned on doing today. Hmm. What else am I missing? Hmm. Lockdown ended. We have the entire 
Alright, security system got high. Got fucked, isn't it? Oh well. At least I'm happy I got myself the this gauze cannon on me. These guys just don't know when they're beaten, do they? Why would they? They're a bunch of mindless soldiers. I'll help the synth buy some time. Make sure you get back to the Institute with the agitator. For his head, huh? Except for his head. There we go. A lot better now. See how this all ends. Data. Hmm.
Well, it's this thing again. Beard's worn off. So I see. Shouldn't worry about that, because hey, at least you got the uh, little health regeneration thingy. That's a pretty handy thing to have. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Thought I'd be doing something, but no. Uh, doing it around. Maybe because I'm tired. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Systems, I bet. God damn it. It's a bit of a shame I can't drink from this water now, can I? No, I cannot. When are you going to tell me about this? Mysterious phase three. You know I can't talk about that. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Hmm. At least so they keep talking about, eh? Shut one by outside. Not probably was right away. What? To maximum productivity. So there's a full set of teeth too. So you'll be the new director, huh? Father always did like to challenge our assumptions. Hmm. All right, Doctor Fillmore. I think that was enough excitement for well, ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Hmm. Well, there's that. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. So I guess you know at the time of the story, I mean, I'm just yes. uh, as long as you respect our rules and policies in the institute for now, isn't it? So then the big booms can happen. Definitely not with the food the Brotherhood of Steel. That's a given. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Not its back I see. Lost. Any additional pain or tenderness? Not that I've noticed. No. I feel quite well. Okay. Hmm. How's your energy? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I'd expect from a man of my age. Hmm? You're sticking to the regimen you agreed upon? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. I see. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. Mm hmm You tell more. Job's done. The job is done. That's what matters. For the moment, yes. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. 
and look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Sarcastic. Oh, good. Here I was afraid I'd have nothing to do. Very funny. There's something that needs your immediate attention. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. Hmm? What happened? What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your minute. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your minute men gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. Mm. I know you can resolve this situation. But it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Uh... What's special? Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace? Despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. I have to admit, the third generation mm. sensor really is something. Uh, let me guess, Mr. I marked down the quest on your, on your map, the blah, 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 something like that, right? The hell is it now, hmm? Garden. The fuck's he doing at Great Garden, though? Hmm. Find the ammo with this bad boy's pretty hard. Uh, can I actually bust my ass trying to find some? Install Mars or just simply cheat through the game, eh? <laughs> nah. Definitely not. So, this Wallace. How the hell is this bad boy here when? Huh? What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? Eh, complicated. I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is... complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want, whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here since it'd be easier to kill them. But <laughs> then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? Hold your ground. Have your men hold their ground. I'll go in and assess the situation. I don't think that's a good idea. Sir, we have to act now, or else we risk not only letting them get away, but taking one of us with them. I wouldn't wish that fate on anyone. Are you going to lead us in there, or what? This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. A risk of being wrong? There's no danger. Hmm. You sure you're willing to risk being wrong about this? Look, I... I just want people to be safe, you know? I don't want anyone else dying or getting kidnapped or whatever. We won't start shooting or nothing. But you... You better get in there, and make sure you're right. <sighs> well, who can barely blame them, huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. Need to 
<sighs> oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Uh, let's focus. Let's focus on getting back. I couldn't agree more. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Eh, uh, why sent you? Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. <laughs> I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. <sighs> phase three? What does this Wallace guy have to do with phase three? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Hmm. Any advice? Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Hmm. Hey. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Whatever, toilet head. Jammed. Huh? What? Ah, uh, that was odd. Hey, General. <coughs> Hello, sir. Wait, what? You must be pretty excited. Broken. Director. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Uh, are you okay? Sir, are you okay? Have you been injured in any way? I'm locked in a bathroom to avoid killer robots. Of course I'm not okay. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Uh, sarcastic? Right. We're here to steal your kidneys and your memories. That's why I'm wasting time talking to you through the door. That's not funny! None of this is funny! <laughs> calm down. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? Willing to help. Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help? The Institute, but aren't, aren't they, you, I'm, I'm the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. Eh, a better world, I guess. Better option? You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Bring him in? You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. 
Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. Excuse me. General. Hey, General. Hello, sir. Hmm. General. Hi. Huh? And these guys over here that you were about to know to go tits up on everything. Alright, I see, I see. garden run entirely by robots? I think not. to lie down here some balls. At least I'd like to keep them off when the super mutant attack and stuff. Sure, it's something looks shitty, doesn't it? Dear, because it is shitty. That works, I guess. The most part, actually. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, 
can it fucking be to place down the fucking walls, hmm? It looks like shit. Yeah, that is shit. God, it's pure quality, high grade shit. It looks better ish. The fuck am I the fuck am I even talking about? Looks horrible. Looks so freaking bad. Put them in here, like a uh, in here again. Hope them are getting a little moist. When they sleep. Or they will get moist. Very moist. Fuck off for a bit, stupid robot. Pieces of junk, piece of junk. This is gonna be quite something, isn't it? Oh, it is gonna be quite something. Jeez, yo, hey. Unless if. Why not? Why the hell not? Are they not all sleeping in a broken greenhouse? Or well, why not then? Hmm? Why not? Not that we have have done any other poor life decisions anyway. So yeah. Not that we have neglected some things back then. So there is also that. I can sleep in here, I swear I'm gonna lose it. I'll lose it. Ah, go crazy. Ah. Looks like a freaking casket. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. A casket. Yeah, and on. It looks pretty comfy too, though. That's a the plus wooden. Well, we already got peoples. <laughs> Alright, people coming in. Oh boy. Eight people already. No, wait. What? Huh? Can we trade a few things? Go ahead. You forgot an extra jump on me. Yeah, 
leader pistol, because what the hell not? Let's trade some things. Okay. Especially because the guy we need some. There you go. Welding helmet, because why not? <laughs> well, that's pretty handy, I'd say. Okay. I mean, I haven't really known, like, paid much attention to this place here. Now that I have, hey, why don't I just do something about it, right? Start by this down here. It's a fucking waste of resources. Holy shit, no first time I'm gonna start over here. How come I've been so fucking neglectful? Fuck it, right? At least it'll help deter some bad guys. Bad guys. Why'd it turn red? Yeah, that takes up a thing a bit, a bit way more now. And then what else am I missing?
slap one more over here, cause why not? Since he got the woolly mask, might as well just uh, sure. put him over here. You're the guard, you're the robots are. Yeah, they're taking care of all that. This guy, I'm gonna put him over got here. At least he knows the police over here to run by robots. Yeah, the water... I think I might need more water too, though. That's a bit of a problem. Oh dear me. I need to put two more pumps, because why not? Why can I not put this... What? Ah, uh, whatever. There we go. And what else am I missing? I don't know. Cramp them all together and see whatever happens, right? Where did the guy went to, anyways? Oh, they're both here. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I guess I'm gonna put him, uh... Hmm... In here? Okay. This guy... Hmm... Where am I gonna put this guy at? Well... Oh, but there's totally not gonna be any, any inconvenience, right? I mean, why would it ever be any, any inconvenience? Oh. Yes, it's it then. that mean. You think you buy something wrong with this poison module? Supervisor Green. At Grey Garden, the price is always right. Shall we make a deal? That'd be great. Hmm. Adjustable wrench. Flame fuel.
Hmm. Nah. What about this one? I'm afraid I don't do autographs, darling. Why? Thank you again for all your help, darling. You won't forget it. Do you think it's easy being this beautiful? I assure you, it is not. That's a good thing I don't give a damn, isn't it? Seems to be growing well. I need to assign someone to this. Oh well. Yeah? yeah. I guess there's really not much you can do about now, isn't it? When one's a lap in steel, then... I get the most important things to construct, construct things, though. I wish we could know I could put that fucking cat down. to assign this bastard to do something properly. No. Huh? I just want to trade a few things. Sure. <laughs> Any guano and stick. What else am I missing? for a plot. Even nothing too. Do you think it's easy being this beautiful? I Going jobless or what?
wind off to anyways. There he is. Gonna sign my ass. He's just being fucking lazy as a what? Again, I mean, how do I actually, actually possibly get rid of this guy here? Or probably not, I don't know. I get any of these trees too, though. I should be uh, giving a lot of, a lot of wood though and steel, which is something you definitely do need a lot. All these robots with their duty, huh? How ironic. Hey there. I'm sure I have something you need. Hmm. Let's see what you got. Great. Yeah, sometimes it's really actually good, you know, for the turrets and everything. That's something. Uh, what else we've got? All sorts of things, but uh, steel, huh? That's good. All right, I guess we're gonna be all that for the time being. We'll be we have a go. minute. I think we should talk. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. You're gonna have to bear with me. This isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Why tell me? Oh. I understand. I understand. I don't think I'm being clear with you. I've never been good with these things. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Vault 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in my life I fully depended on someone else and they didn't let me down. God <laughs> damn it, I'm making a mess of this. Oh, do you need a minute? I'll let it all out. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And hmm. I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But really? with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Hmm. Romance. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? <laughs> you said... you're in love with me. I can't... I can't do that right now. I'm just not ready. I'm sorry. Hey, Laddle. You're getting the Finia Trigger Rush, eh? <laughs> Whatever. 
Well, he's got the pesky reporter now, but alright. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as, one as, much as I did. And I look forward to the next one, so hope to see you guys next time, and until then.